What's up everyone, it's your boy Rat 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we're going to be talking about a really fun horror sci-fi creature flick from 1954. This one's called Them and this is really exciting. This was a first time watch for me and like I said I told you I was going to be diving into a lot of black and white horror films and this is a really big creature feature that I wanted to talk about. Yes, this isn't a Universal Studios type production. This is a Warner Brothers Studio production but this is a creature flick and these were really big too back in the 50s and stuff so this one is going to be really fun to talk about today you're going to hear my positives the negatives and then i'm going to tell you kind of what tier it falls into with these black and white films that i've been talking about recently so let's get into this roll it <laughs> So Them from 1954, yes, this is a horror sci-fi creature feature, and this one is about a population of giant ants that gets out of control, and it starts off with the story taking place in New Mexico, where we have some state New Mexico officers that end up finding a young girl that is traumatized in the desert, just wandering around, and then they end up finding out that there are giant ants in the desert that have been mutated because of the bomb testing that happened in White Sands and Alamogordo in New Mexico. So these ants now, like it's been, I believe, nine years after the bomb testing, and these ants have grown great in size and now of course that makes them very deferential and a huge danger to the human population so this film is really cool because it eventually does reach like epic proportions where they end up traveling to california to deal with another nest so this is a really fun creature feature and was a first time watch for me so let's dive into some positives one huge positive is the cast i absolutely love the cast in here and i think the acting from the actors and the actresses across the board fantastic we have james arness in here james whitemore joan weldon and Ed, edmund gwynn so really a fantastic cast of old you know old actors from back in the day but they do a fantastic job specifically i love the police sergeant of course i think he does a great job james whitemore and also joan, joan weldon as dr patricia great for real and to be honest dr patricia because like for real she is absolutely stunning in this film when you especially when you have her shot in black and white that's one key positive right there also is the cinematography and the black and white nature of this film and i found it quite interesting when i was doing research on this film that originally warner brothers wanted to do this film in a 3d format and in color that's why when you see the title screen if you watch this film it's currently streaming on tubi by the way that's where i checked out this film and when you watch it the title sequence when it pops up them it is in color and it comes at you like right in the face and also when you see some of the sequences and action sequences in the film they're shooting directly straight at the camera you know with the flamethrowers or the way that the action portrays or the way the ants come at you so yes this film was supposed to be in 3d but after a malfunctioning 3d camera or the technology that they were going to use just malfunction they decided to shoot this film in widescreen black and white Another huge positive that I love about this movie is that I am a New Mexico boy. I'm born and raised in New Mexico, so when you have this taking place with the whole, you know, atomic background of the bombs being testing in New Mexico and that influencing, you know, the ants being mutated and stuff and having the state police officers being from New Mexico, just the investigation stuff, the desert setting, even though they didn't shoot this in New Mexico, they shot this in the Mojave Desert in California, but they really tried to make it look like New Mexico would, but, you know, it's still, like I said, I really does call close to home because, like I said, I'm born and raised from out here, so when you started off there, they eventually go to California, though, because when they're trying to destroy the nest in New Mexico two young queen ants are born and hatched and they end up flying and getting away and they have to track them down so this film is really cool because it's a creature feature that keeps you involved it keeps you invested in the story with these great actors and actresses that just pull you in and it has information and explanation and kind of like epilogue story dump stuff but it doesn't bog the movie down like usually that kind of takes the pacing of the movie down this film has some really cool information and really cool representations of characters and the way that characters blend together specifically we have robert graham who plays a, is an fbi agent robert graham is one of the fbi agents in this film and when the scientists get brought in and especially when he's talking to dr patricia on a helicopter 
it's kind of crazy how she displays her intelligence and uses these words and these dialogues and stuff that he doesn't know. So it kind of upsets him, and it's really cool to see that dynamic play out. Also, of course, you got to recognize that this being a film from the 1950s, there are some lines, be it towards the women, that definitely do not age well. But I like the fact that they have Dr. Patricia in here because there's moments where she does display her intellect and show up the men. And they're kind of like, you know, Robert Graham and the other officers kind of just, they, they represent and they're like, oh, okay, now we have to take it back because she knows what she's talking about. So there really is some cool things and undertones of sexism and they handle them in this movie, be it also. Also, they talk about the atomic bomb thing. So this has to deal with people, you know, repercussions of the tragedies of stuff going on and the testing of that stuff that we didn't really know because we started a new age. The atomic age has begun now. And it's like, what did really, us humans, what did we really start? We didn't understand it at that time. So this film tackles a lot of really good, huge fears with the public at that time. And like I said, this is one of those movies I'm talking to you and kind of gushing about it right now that where has it been all my life? I also am blown away by the creature designs and the set designs and what they were able to pull off, especially for 1954. This film looks fabulous. And as it was going on, I was just getting sucked in and every moment captured me the characters like I said the set design the music the sound effects and everything so for real this movie is off the charts one of those films that I will absolutely thoroughly love returning to because this is a creature feature that is a basic huge like template I can see from back in the day is how you do creature features I also thought it was really cool that the Wilhelm scream which is a famous stock of scream that a lot of films horror films and monster flicks use was created three years earlier and it's used three times in this film which is kind of funny one of our characters gets attacked by one of the giant ants and he gets captured and you hear the scream another one you hear like a beam falls on an officer when they're trying to go underground to track the ants down and the scream is used as well so just some really cool epic things that kind of make this film just very iconic for me and after watching it now i'm just like wow like for real this movie where has it been all my life? And after watching it, like it's one of those films that I want I want to rewatch it right away or I want to own it on physical media because this is, like I said, clearly how you tackle and how you do creature features. And this would be a great double feature watch with, say, something like Quiet Place. Like it would be really cool to see them, you know, this black and white horror film from 54 and watch that and then watch A Quiet Place and kind of, you know, kind of dissect on how – things and how creature features have changed but also how a quiet place pulls from that film because of the pacing and the way the third and first and second act go there's a lot of elements that are very similar so i had an absolutely fantastic time with this film and in terms of negatives for me you are not gonna get any negatives for this film for real this is probably one of the easiest five stars or like 10 out of 10s that I've ever given. I am so comfortable with giving this film a five star or a 10 out of 10. I do have Letterbox. If you want to follow me on Letterbox, I'll have that link in the description. I did do this film on Letterbox and log it and stuff. And it's just for real. It was so comfortable and so easy just to click that five star because this was an absolutely fantastic watch and in terms of where it would rank in the tier ranking of these black and white films that I've been recently talking about over the last few weeks it's going to go straight up into that tier a spot because this is an absolute classic and one that I herald to me is like being one of the greatest and best horror sci-fi films that I've ever seen in my life Please let me know down below in the comments section what do you think of them. If you haven't seen this film, like I said, it is currently streaming on Tubi. That's where you can check it out. And man, like I said, I highly recommend this film. This is one of those movies that I would talk to you know, movie fans or cinephiles or people coming up or young kids. I'd be like, this is an absolute must watch. Even if you're only going to watch this film one time, you have to see this film because I think it is a fantastic and absolutely stunning piece of cinema. And like I said, the stuff that they're able to tackle in just about an hour and 24 minutes, I think this movie is only like an hour and 25 minutes. The story elements and the acting and the, the, the action in it is just absolutely superb for a movie like this so i highly like I said highly recommend it but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i drop a video but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out